college, obviously, we're doing it now. But it has kind of grown into teaching the whole playbook. Okay, because think about what you can do. Get start the formation. Okay, you can put the check, you can stand on the floor <coughs> and, draw and draw it and say, you got it? Got it? They're shaking their head, yeah, I got it. Okay, but you don't really know until you let them be hands on. Okay, so you, you put out the checkers there. What a simple set of checkers. The black, the red, we're here like this. You can play the defense, they're on the offense. It can be as simple as you're just going over your offensive system. Okay, so you start with, with formation. Slot right. You've got to move the slot right. You have to know. And you change personnel groups. Okay, we're going to different personnel. You know, you have to bring the H in and take the bull back out. Or whatever it may be. It gives him a great understanding of what's going on. And as a coach, it allows you to know what he knows and what he doesn't know. Because now you can spend time on those things. If you see he's having a problem with something, you know what to spend time on. He's not just shaking his head, yes, he's got it on the board. Okay, so it's very hands-on. So you can teach your you can teach your formations, you can teach your motions, you can teach your blocking schemes, you can teach your route concepts. You call out a route, you have to move the guy. Okay? It saves a lot of time. Because you know how you're drawing before you have to erase it all the time and redraw things? It saves a lot of time. You just sit down at a table and you're just moving guys around. Okay? But he's doing it. Okay, your quarterbacks are doing it. And if you have a group of quarterbacks, one guy's up, he's in the chair and he's doing it, all the rest of the guys are watching. Okay? You can even go as far as if you have a long table having three sets and you're sitting across here in the kitchen, you just watch them all. Okay? Um, so formation, motions. Routes, blocking scheme, and now you can get into the defenses. Okay, defensive fronts, coverages, all those types of things that you can teach with these checkers. I go back to um, one of the guys I think benefited from this the most. I don't know if you remember a guy named Keely Smith when we were at Oregon. I got there right after his junior year. And uh, so he had one season left, and then the springtime, we sat down and started doing these checkers. And I was amazed at how he even drove him to his junior year. He was doing it on ability alone. I guarantee you. When we start talking about protection and how many it takes to throw hot and where you're directing the center, he had no clue. No clue. Okay, but now we're going to uncover him. He was going to coach that thing and teach me what was supposed to happen. So when I would call right hand to any choice, he had to put the formation up, you had to put the routes in, and as he did that, then I started. I started <coughs> with the defense, and I would play different coverages. I teach him about pre snap reads. I would rotate the coverage down. I bring hots. You know, so this is what he'd have to do, and it's just like a mental rep on the field. Okay, you make a turn around in the chair. Checkers over here. Right, take two inch choice on one. Ready? Okay. You make him go through the whole thing, the cadence, and the whole bit. He gets up there and says, Ray, we're set 280. 280. Hut. Claps his hand. And I move the checkers, whether it be a blitz or a coverage or what have you. Now he goes through the whole thing. Okay? Pre snap read said it was cover two. This is a strong side read. No hots. My direction was left. So it only took one to half to throw hot. He didn't come. My route concept was this. And I'm working off the sandbacker. And then I'll be the sandbacker. I'll move. And he said, I threw it to the tight end. And the sand went to the flat. Okay? Now I know what he knows. Right? I'm not standing on the board drawn. And he has no idea what I'm doing. Or at least he should be dead. He doesn't. And it's not to, not to get him in trouble. This is all about helping him so they understand exactly what's going on. And Keely Smith caught fire for doing that. Because that guy had so much ability. And once he knew what he was doing mentally... He was awesome. Okay, so it is a great, great teaching tool to coach your whole offensive package. Okay, and to teach quarterbacks in progression. Okay. Okay, now we're gonna get into this this thing here. There was a quarterback years ago when I was at Fresno State who he plays for the Tennessee Titans now, Billy Bullock is his name. And uh, he played a lot of the year this year after McNair went down. And we started getting into the offense. And he was having trouble with which side he was reading. 
you know, and things like that, and what the concept was of the route. And so at that point, I thought, you know what, I'm going to take this off and, and put it into route concepts. Okay, strong side. Okay, so he knows that this is a strong side read all the way. Weak side read all the way. Man zone or full field read, and we're going to watch all this on tape. An outside in read, which he knew he was going outside in. A safety read, which kind of went by single safety or two safety. Okay, and then package routes, okay, single safety or two deep safety. Okay, and then we kind of went from there to where we're going to have uh, signals, we're going to have package routes. That we could get the three routes just by a hand signal. That he knew the package of this route and he knew how to dial in the right place. Okay, very, very simple. Protection didn't change, but the route concept did. Okay, so uh, what I'd like to do now is I'd like to get into showing you some of the tape on, on what all this is about. We'll start off. Okay, first off, we're going to look at the strong side route concept. Can you all see that back there? Are you okay? Okay, so we talked about a strong side read. Okay, we're going to work the strong side here. This is a split right formation. Thing we're going to do here, we're going to have an arrow by the tight end, a curl by the Z, 
and the back of the check hook right here. We're reading out the flat defender. Alright, flat defender goes <coughs> flat with the tight end or he sticks to the hook. The curl wrapper. Okay, our Z right here is a little tight. It's supposed to be two yards outside the hash mark right there, and our pullback is a tad wide. Okay, but very simple triangle read. Sam Backer with a flat defender. Okay, then a bind, you curl, then flat. And this is strong all the way. He's not even looking over here. This is strong all the way. Turn it into a half field read. <coughs> Now this is 301 flat E, 
who said he's spoken on the ball. The quarterback didn't know that this is a they would put this in a little weak side read, but they didn't know. Okay, so he's not even looking at this side. He's coming with the white right. Yeah, right here. Now, you can do this with the, with the tight end as well. You can go 301 flat. Why? With the tight end in here, you're doing the same thing. But you're going to see the next route that ties into a full field read from the same personnel. But why, but why are we, or when we designate, we call it a guy's uh, position, X, Y, Z, that means hook it over the ball. And again, this is a simplified thing for the quarterback. But the thing that irritates me a little bit about sometimes when I'm at, at camps or something like that, and coaches yelling at quarterback, why didn't you throw over there? He was open. Well, how the hell do you know? He doesn't have eyes in the back of his head. Unless he knows that's a weak side read or whatever. You have got to tell these quarterbacks what they're doing and what to look for. You know, I see some guys who've never played quarterback before, always being the, you know, the armchair quarterback, yelling at kids for why didn't you go up there, why didn't you go up there, why didn't you do it, and never giving them a reason for it. You know, because they're supposed to see everything. But they can't see everything. So you have to, you have to specify things for these guys so that they can put them in the read. Okay, so that was a weak side read there. Okay, so he's not even looking strong. Okay, now we're going to go to the full field read. This is a really simple concept that kind of puts, puts both concepts into place. Okay, this is a man zone read. Alright, so this is the situation. This is called 301 flat Z in. Okay, and when Z is called an individual, this guy knows that he has a E. He has to look over the ball. Okay, that's the concept that they know. Okay, so this is the situation. This guy's going to do the very same thing he just did on the last one on the weak side read. These guys are going to do the same thing that they did on the weak side read. But now Z's on an end. Okay, so what that tells the quarterback that if it's man covered, if the guy that's over that in the <coughs> chases him, he's going to work the man drop right here. If that guy over that inside receiver drops zone, he's going to come back and work his weak side read all the way. Okay, so it's a one-man read right there. <coughs> and as he's dropping, it doesn't take a whole lot of time. I mean, as you drop, you can see man in zone right now. So if that guy over here drops zone, you're coming right back right now and working that weak side triangle. Very, very simple. You know if that guy chases that guy across the field as man, and I'm working my one-on-one -on -one right outside. You can put this guy on any rock you want, man to man. Okay, this just happens to be Z in. You can put him on a hook, you can put him on a knot, you can put him on a close corner, you can put him on a hook and go. So if you're getting if you're getting an eight-man front, and they're, they're mixing up playing cover three and cover one, man, you can you can kill them all day long with this concept because they can't be right. If you've got a guy out here. They can run a lot of great man routes. Okay? Put him out there. If they're playing man, you can work that guy over all day. In, both corners, go routes, you name it. Oh, whatever you want. Okay, this just happens to be an in. So the quarterback right now, he's reading that defender right there. Pre-snap close because of that guy's alignment pretty much in, right? He's in the run. So here he goes. He's chasing him. Man route, bang, right there. Very simple concept if you're the quarterback. This is called a full field read. Man side, zone side. Okay, so right now he's looking at that defender over the E. See the chase? Big ball right there. Okay, now, zone concept. Okay, we're looking at this guy right here. He would have to chase him with the man concept, but watch what he does. If you're the quarterback, you tell me 
Where are you working? You're working a week, right? On that guy's first step, you know, it's going to be covered. So the quarterback doesn't have to take a lot of time and spend it watching that guy. He's going to know if it's man or zone. If it's man, that guy's chasing. If it's zone, his eyes come right back right now and find that flat defender over there and work his weak side triangle. Okay, so the weak side defender ended up being a safety dropping down low. All right, keep up the throw, go flat. Okay, now, this guy here should have come underneath and, and since this, we've changed this guy's route. We're bringing him at a more shallow depth here, the five yards trying to get over the guard box, which is kind of where the fullback was on the very first we showed you. We've changed his route a little bit. Okay, so he's going to come underneath. Now, for this guy, if that guy were to the flat, and that guy were underneath the curl, then your third progression is going to be that guy coming right back in front of you, right there. Okay? Man zone read, though, all the way. You're looking at that guy with the knee, he chases, man up, whatever you want your man up to be. He drops zone, you're coming back right now, and you're working the weak side around. Again, route conversions are key because we want to use routes that are good for every coverage. So what we do, if the flat defender happened to be the corner, our one routes, which are our, our curls, they convert to flag routes, inside release, push to 12, and go to the flag with a, a roll corner. Okay, because now what do we have? Now you still have a curl flat is a horizontal read. Okay, horizontal read off the flat defender. If they roll and the corners up there and the conversion goes to a flag route and you still have the guy in the flat, now it turns into a vertical read, but you're still working off the flat defender. Okay, and it's still, still a weak side read. Okay, so your, your indicator says zone, you're going to come back. Your pre snap read should have said anyway, cover two look, man look, single safety look, whatever. And now you're coming back. C zone, you come back, you find the flat defender that rolled the cover two, now you know it's going to be flag flat and off the corner. Single safety, they're dropping out, you either have a weak side backer there, it's a flat defender, now you're working flat curl off the flat defender, back to number three and sucker. Trying to rank your face. Okay? Any questions about that? Strong side? And now, what is the purpose for doing this? What's the purpose to put it strong, weak? Well, what is the purpose to put all these into the category? It's so that your quarterback understands what they're looking for. Okay, that they're not trying to see everything. Okay, they're trying to understand exactly what they're looking for to make it easier on that guy. Okay, now the reason why we're pointing here, remember at the I don't want to get too carried away with protection and stuff, but the reason why he's pointing here is because remember when I told you it was a tight end that was eight man protection? Okay? Could be you got five line on the tight end and the, the <coughs> back check it out. Okay. Now we don't have a tight end to check out. So if he sent the center this way to take care of that safety who was in the beginning down here, then we're gonna side adjust off that guy. So that's the reason we're gonna point to that guy. Okay, so see, you saw the safety down. He was going to send the center this way to take care of these three. The back is going to take care of him. Okay, these two like that. These two, the back got him. And so if that guy came off again, he's going to have to go aside to us. All right, that's, that's the reason we're Okay, now, I want, you to, I want you to see how fast this happens. Watch the quarterback just check, check to get his key. Okay, now his head comes back right now. See that? Head there to read manner zone. See zone right now. Comes back on the flat defender. With plenty of time to work the route. Very simple route concept. Okay, the next one is outside in. So we're, we're telling the quarterback here, you're going to work this route outside <coughs> in in a progression, but still off the defenders. Okay, so... This next rock you're going to see looks like <coughs> looks like this.
come back here. This guy's going to run a stem route and work the slide back inside. Our pullback is going to check. We're on a spot. Our tailback is going to check through and post on the back side. So we're going to work this thing outside in. One, two, three. Right there. But it's still going to be out from an outside up and flat defender. Right there. Okay? So unless it's cover two, if we get a roll corner, then that guy's going to know. Now, now we're just working the inside triangle. Okay, but with an off corner, one, two, three, off of the flat defender. Okay, so what you're going to see, and I'll show you, I'll show you all the different ones. Coach, is he still thinking strong or weak and is it strong? Yeah, he's thinking strong here. Okay, so he's thinking strong here unless that guy right there, if we got a situation where we have you know, a free safety playing way down low over here, and the rover playing way over the top here, and you have the sandbacker there, and there's nobody in the middle of the field. You still got to understand that, hey, I have a shot here. This is a strong side read, but I have a shot here that's going over the top in case they have nobody in the middle of the field. Or you're getting a blitz type coverage. Okay? In our protection here, we're sliding this way. So if they brought a fourth guy, he'd have to slide with just that, too. So you're going to see and take a peek here at a fourth guy. Flat defender is this guy right here. He's not underneath the comeback. We're supposed to be running a comeback here, but because we're squeezed into the boundary, we let him turn inside and pull himself through so we don't throw him out of bounds. Okay, outside in. No flat defender underneath the outside route. Throw it. <coughs>
Okay, now look, you can see Achilles' eyes here. He's looking at the comeback. Comeback's not there. He's looking for his pullback. Pullback hasn't got there because he's getting held up by the defensive end. Okay, so he, he's coming back to his third progression, which if the fullback were to get out, we would have gone the ball to the fullback right there in that big hole. He's got to sit around and wait for that half to see that guy get knocked off like he's going right Yeah, he's got to go somewhere else. So it's, it's not to the outside, he's got to go to the third progression. And now you have your, your tight end working here, and you can see how the tight end slides back inside the hole right there. Okay, and that tailback should have been running a drag back across here to hold that weak side back around. Okay, so outside in, <coughs> off the flat fender. Now, I want to show you this one. This is called same concept, but a little bit different formation. <coughs> All right, that was a strong side read. Outside in. Now you're going to get. Now we're going to get this. Okay, now we're going to go weak. So X is going to run the comeback. Pullback is still going to run his spot. The tight end will check release, push up, and get right over here where he was, and if he were in that spot, running that. You see that? You see that, right? All right. So again, one, two, three. This guy, backside post, in case no safeties are in there. All right. Same exact read, except now we're working off the weak defender. Okay, the will backer, my corner, you have that situation right there. Okay, will gets underneath that, check it down to the fullback. Will gets underneath that, Mike gets over to the fullback, come back to number three, or tailback to number three here. Like that. So same route concept, but just to the weak side, it's an outside in progression though, but it's weak. <coughs> Come back, flat defender. Okay, the flat defender underneath the comeback? No, no comeback. Again, we're we'll getting squeezed into the boundary, so we turn inside. Now before we ran it strong, the quarterback had to look over here for protection and to look for a 4X, what we call 4X. Alright, but now that we have a tight end on the back, so you can check the number before you leave, so he doesn't have to worry about any of that. Left defender right there, a lot of room to go come back. Weak side, outside in read. Outside in. Okay, weak side, where's our flat defender? Right here? Okay, where should we be throwing the ball? Pull back, right there. <laughs> outside in, looking outside, see if we can get the outside guy, flat defender underneath it, pull back, back to tight end. Go back, drag, pull the back side, climb up. <coughs> Like that. So it's one to two to run. 
Okay, but we're trying to break the pocket, move the pocket a little bit. I think on both of these, though, we get pulled up because of, because of pressure. Okay, so we're working outside in, all the way. Okay, flat defender does what? He jumps the inside route. You can see that the reference point, he knows not to go outside release there because now he's going to get into his landmark. So he wants to stay inside closer to the hash and then work his landmark between the hash and the numbers. <coughs> Very simple concept, outside in, off the flat foot. Okay, same thing going left here. We have double comebacks. Okay, now obviously Joey here thought that this guy was underneath this comeback. I think he probably still could have thrown this. I think he skipped one too a little earlier, so he may have just been taking an easier throw. But if he's underneath that, he comes right back inside. Again, look at the landmarks. Ash, he's staying close to the hash to work outside. He has the numbers to the sideline. Very simple, outside in progression. Okay, obviously here, there's no third guy in progression. Right? So there was a lot of things. You see how these backers scrape? These guys are big time scrapers, so they don't have a flat defender get out there, so we weren't all that worried about. Okay, there is no there is no third progression in the route like we saw with those other but we didn't really need it. Good chance to move the pocket. All right, now we're going to get into a safety lead. Okay? And what we talk about with the safety read is this. We're going off of a two-shell or a single safety lead. All right, I'm going to explain this concept to you, and then we're going to then we'll watch the tape. <coughs> quarterbacks, this goes back to the checker thing, for what formations do to defenses. If you're in a 3 by one set or if you're in a 2 by 2 set, there's a couple ways that people can adjust to you. If they want to play two safeties, what do they have to do in a 3 by one or 2 by 2 They have to break the box down, move a backer outside. Okay. If, they can, if they want to play a single safety, now they think you can keep everybody in the box and play it in front. Okay, but that, that's what they need to know in the beginning, is what the formation does to a DJ. Okay, so you're going to see us here. In that set. We're in a three by one set right here. Okay, so two ways that the quarterback knows that they can adjust. If they want to play with two safeties, what do they have to do? They have to move a backer outside. Okay. Or, if they want to keep the backers in the box, like something like this, now they have to adjust to that guy with the safety. Okay, so the quarterback knows that so you can get the loaded covers like that, or you can get an eight man front where they reduce the front on this side with the stand might go over here to the eight man front row. Okay, so the quarterback knows that by pre-snap read on what's going on. Okay, so and then and then what he has to know from there is if it is a two shell, what are the combinations they can play from there? They can play cover four, they can play cover six, they can play cover two, they can blitz. Right? I mean those are kind of some of the things they can do, or they can zone dog and roll to it. Alright? So now he he narrows it down on what are the possibilities he's going to see from that. If it's a single safety, he's going to see cover one, he's going to see cover three, he's going to see blitz most likely. Okay, so now he's looking for a safety read. That's what he's looking for as he comes out. Okay, so what you're going to see here, okay, is we're going to have, called 388 choice. 
radiated with protection, and the egg route is over here. He's got a P8, he's outside of this boat. This guy has a hat route, which is a hook or a flat, depending if it's a man or zone. Man, zone. Okay, they're excited, he's gonna run a big yard choice route, inside or outside. On the weak side, you have an out, and you have a check speed. Okay, so now what we have over here, if we get a two shell, like this, Sam has to walk out of the box, we've already known that. Okay, so now, versus two shell, this is a strong side read. It went from safety, safety your initial read, to work it strong, and who's your defender you're working off of? That guy right there. Okay, so he, if this guy sinks on the tight end, he's gonna throw it there. If he jumps the hat rock, he's gonna work the tight end off the mic back there. Okay? Now, the other thing that he may do here is if we get what we call loaded coverage, and this is what we see a lot <coughs> in this type of formation. Okay, we see the Sam, the Mike, Safety has adjusted. What we do, what we do here now, he sees a single safety. Okay, so now it looks for a loaded coverage. Our definition of a loaded coverage is single safety, safety adjusted, a factor outside, and a factor inside that tight end. So now that turns to a weak side read. So now he's going to throw the out, the ski off the flat defender. Okay. If you have an eight man front, okay, where well that guy's there, let's move this down. Okay, eight man front, where you have the strong safety, the sin, the mic, and the will, something like this. <coughs> okay, and now we, when you're teaching him off single safety, now he's going to be out to the ski off the flat defender. Alright? So that's the difference between a two shell and a single safety on what he's looking for. Okay, but it's all off the safety. Off the safety. Okay. okay, so you're the quarterback. What's the shell? Two. Which way are you working? It? Strong or weak? We're getting strong off of who? That guy right there. <coughs> so this guy has a hat route. He's looking at that guy right there to see if he's playing his own technique or a man technique. That guy's eyes go to him. He's saying, man, I'm going to run a flat. A lot of people will just run flat with this no matter what, but you, you get killed in the zone. You're going into a roll corner out there, or the ball gets tipped and you, know, you run a flat, the ball gets tipped and gets intercepted. So if we do, if this guy's coming off the, if this guy's coming off the ball, he reads his own technique, he's gonna push with some width, and he's gonna sit down right here and put that roll corner to his back. Okay, so that we're not running the guy to the flat here, and the backer says he's taking the, the choice route, and now we throw the ball to the guy running the flat with a roll corner out here and blow this up. So we're gonna protect that guy by giving him a route conversion. <laughs> Okay, so it's cover two, we're working off this guy right here. Off this guy. Okay, he goes with some width. Okay, his eyes go right to him, so he reads that as man, so he clears out, look at the hole there for the tight end. Now your tight end has to win. Okay, but the quarterback knows by a safety read that this is a strong side read. And who he's reading off of? Very simple. Okay, P8 release, so you've got to get an outside release up there. But again, quarterback compression, that's what he's looking for. <coughs> so right now, he's not even looking over here. He knows exactly where he's working. Turned into a half field read for the safety. Okay, now let's take a look. All right, what do we have here? How many safeties? One safety. 
Okay, how about the loaded concept? We have a loaded concept. Backer outside the tight end and a backer inside the tight end. We have a safety, a little safety, a safety adjusted, three backers, outside, inside. So where does he work now? He works weak. He's going to throw the out to the ski out the top of the fender. Same exact play. <coughs> Depending if it's two shell or single safety, is where he's going to go with the ball. Now he checks here just for a second because our protection is a hot protection over here. Okay, and with this call right here, this is a, a loop call. It's going to take both these backers to come. They have to throw a hot to the tight end, but only one came, so we have to pick up. So you take a little time to look at the protection. And that's right where he's going with the ball. Right where he's going. Right where he's going. Right where he's going. <coughs> okay, what do we have going on here? <coughs> where are we working this shot? <coughs> One. Where are we working? We. We're going to lose our back though because we're blitzing, but it's one-on-one -on -one down here. Quarterback shouldn't be taking a hit, he should just be hitting the fifth <coughs> and let it go. He's a little late with that ball. Coach, are you telling your tight end to read that safety in the middle? Because he looks like there's a one height coming in, or there's two eyes going out? No, what, you know what the tight end's reading right there? He's reading blitz. <coughs> See, he's thinking that he's going to get a hot read inside right there. He should get his head around earlier. He's halfway between running and dropping looking for a hot run right there. He doesn't really know what he's doing. <laughs> yeah, he, he's trying to be right, so he did to yell at that. <laughs> okay, now this, this is a route. This is called pre-85 pump run. Now we had a choice route going on here, and we had a half route going on here before we were working off this defender. If this guy gets a little nosy now, and he starts trying to undercut that choice route, this is what we will do. Before we had a what? We had a horizontal read, right? Horizontal, working off the sand off the hat, and a choice route. Now if that Mike Factor gets pretty good at covering that thing, now we're going to turn it into a vertical route. We're going to have him run a pump route. He's going to go around, he's going to pump to the choice, and then he's going to hit the seam, and the guy around the hat route, he's going to come in and burst underneath. <coughs> so now we have a vertical read off the Mike Factor, but it's still a safety read, strong side because it's two shell. If we had a single safety in this, we would never throw this to this tight end. Okay, we would not throw a pump rock to a tight end down the middle of the field with a single safety. So I just put out this on here for a little variation. You can see there was a horizontal read before. Now it turns into a vertical read. If this guy were to carry this, we could throw it. Then we get this guy coming right up underneath. Again, only works with two shell. Because if it were a single safety, you could get killed worse than these here. Okay, but the, the quarterback knows right now that that's his route concept where he's working quad. So there's two safeties. And now he can go to his, his key, to his stand backer, to his mic backer. This one is a mic backer read, really. the other one is a stand backer. <laughs> different formations 
But all, for the quarterback, it's all the same thing. All the same thing. Okay, first of all, what we need to do is we need a formation to get the desired front and cover. We talked a little bit in that last hour about some desired coverage. You know, you get into three by one to get and if they adjust the way all the time, then run that route concept out of that formation. Okay? If you're in double tight, two wide, and every time you're gonna, you know, put both backers on the line of scrimmage and, and that protection is what you want, then get into that formation to run. Okay? So Again, front for the protection, whether it be two back or single back. There's some drop concepts that you don't know, you say, I want to run this concept, but it's best at a single back, and I can if I get a <coughs> single back formation with long sufficient protection, then let's do it out of this. Or let's say now you get two back and you bring everybody in the box and like play eight man front for the run, and that's what the best formation to run that drop concept is. Okay, so we try, and we're big on, on personnel groupings and formations to try to lock people into things. Okay, we spend a lot of time on doing that because we feel like if we can lock somebody into something, we're going to have a huge game plan out of it. If you know what somebody's going to do, you should not just a matter of fact. All right, so uh, front for the protection and coverage for the route concept. All right. Use the same rock concepts in various formations, and that's what we're going to look at a lot on the tape. Same rock concept, total different formations, total different protections. <coughs> but a quarterback is very easy. Understanding of the concept by all positions, by all positions, not just the quarterback, but someone needs to know if he has an outside release, if He's a clearing guy on this. If it's important for him to have the spacing and the splits, understand what he's looking for. Okay, so all the formations need to have some sort of understanding of what the purpose of the concept is play. Okay, and then understanding of read progression. This can be obviously the quarterback needs to know this. As long as your quarterback knows it then you're in pretty good shape. But it's really nice if everyone else, else knows it as well. Sometimes that can be detrimental though. You know, one time we had a receiver that's run a post route, he knew versus coverage, the quarterback's going to go somewhere else with the ball. Well, the quarterback saw that this guy was wide open and the same as he went, and he wasn't even looking for the ball, and he thought, hey, I'm just a sponge on this point. So sometimes that can be bad. They have to have an understanding that they need to, to all be alert and ready uh, for the ball. Okay, and then use routes that are good for any coverage. Okay, in order to do that, we're going to utilize route conversions. Okay, because there's nothing worse than calling a play and then all of a sudden that play is no good for that coverage. Right, that's, that's not a good thing. The quarterback doesn't know where to go with the ball. The quarterback needs to have an answer on every play where to go with football. There shouldn't be. When the quarterback comes to you and says that, you shouldn't say, hey, that's a bad play for a second. You should have things built in. Now, <coughs> time to time that may happen. But as a general rule, we should never, the answer to the quarterback should be, that's not a very good play for a second coverage. Okay? You should have some options to know where to go with the football, some check down, you know, that type of thing. And so, as coaches, it's our obligation to study and maybe put a backside route on it. It's good for something else over here that you know where to go with the ball in case you, know, you get into some type of coverage. But it should be good for all coverages. Route conversions we talked about with uh, running back routes, whether it's man or zone, what to do. Receiver routes, like let's say the curl that we talked about going to flags versus the cloud coverage. Okay, or a tight end route, but maybe middle open, take the middle, middle, close, hook it up. Those type of things. Okay, so route conversions have got to be a part of your package if you want routes to be good for any coverage. <coughs> My opinion. I mean, it, it, that could be wrong, but for us, 
when we talk about, you know, you may say, okay, this route is great for cover three, but you know what, cover two is not really that good. But if you take that curl route, that flat curl is really good for cover three, but it's not real good for cover two, <coughs> that's what the conversion is. It goes from a horizontal stretch to a vertical stretch, and you're still reading out the same thing. Okay, so uh, that's what we try to do. All right, so we're going to go over some things here and kind of kind of go into multiple routes. Okay. Double post 
that shoot now. Okay, now this is what we're going to do here. Okay? We're going to do the same thing. Now, you know, before this guy ran the tank, this guy ran the flag, we had a guy in the flat right here. Now, we're going to take the tight end and push him through and run him on the post still. If that guy jumps in, we should take a look at the tank route. All right? If he doesn't, if he stays back, and there goes the tank, this guy now is going to become the guy that's tight end. Okay, on the plug. So this is double post X shoot. That's the X. He's going to run a shoot route. Okay, now, really, we may have been able to run, to throw the tape, and this guy's put the set on his feet pretty good here. We may have had the chance to take right here a little bit. Okay, but obviously, Kyle didn't like this. He thought that this guy was getting a little bit too deep. But see, now this guy took your tight end, right? See? Same concept. You have a three-man stretch, a flood route on the boundary over here. You're not on the boundary field. How do you tell the quarterback? What do you tell the quarterback? Double post X shoot. This is red light money. Okay, so Kyle obviously thought the tight end could have run a harder post here, and he should have run a harder post here. <coughs> Clarify that read for him to get that safety to go. The tight end's too far off the field. If he ran a hard post, it would make it a lot easier on the quarterback to, to find the read. But the concept of the route is the same. Okay, now, now what we're going to do here is we're going to run a clear, pretty much a clearing right here, but now the tight end, we're in a slot now, we're in a twin set. The tight end is going to run the tape route. The fullback is going to run the flat. And the inside receiver is going to come across the field. So if we happen to get the tape and we like it, we can take that. If we don't like it. Now we're working the stretch on the boundary for the three receivers. So it's red again, just like when it's a little different protection, different formation. But the content of the quarterback is the same. Play pass right double post X shoot. We have right point of 